WWE 2K19, what are you excited about? A new cover star, an updated attire, maybe a new exhibitions mode. Towers, towers mode, what an amazing game mode that is. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, wait a minute. So you're telling me that Bobby Lashley is going to be in WWE 2K19? That makes this game so much different than WWE 2K18, here's my money 2K! You see people, I don't really care about gameplay or game modes, I'm gonna buy the game for new Randy Orton's hair. As always guys, the great one, and a lot of people won't appreciate my negativity, but a lot of people wanted me to talk about WWE 2K games and my opinion about that. There's this thing called trust, and when you break it, it's going to be really difficult to regain that. And I think that's the case with 2K games right now. A lot of people are mad for me saying that this game is going to be bad and very disappointing and because I never played the game, so how do I know? Well, what about recent history of 2K games? I don't think any 2K game actually lived up to expectations. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that these games are bad. The biggest problem is they are all the same. They are disappointing. There's no soul in these games anymore. The gameplay is pretty much fantastic in my opinion. We need some updates, but for a simulation style gameplay, I do believe that it's actually pretty decent. But if you actually played a previous WWE game and then you get the next one, you will be disappointed. You will play it for like two months and then you'll realize that you're playing the same game with new attires, new entrances, new theme songs. And then you realize that all the game modes of this game are actually the same cock in a different hand meaning that they are the same with different menus and stuff, it just sucks, all of them sucked. So that's kind of my biggest problem with 2K games, they don't listen to the fans and every game feels the same with updates. I want to ask you a question, how is WWE 2K15 different to 2K16 to 2K17 or 2K18? Maybe graphics of course, 2K18 looks tremendous. But if you would give this game to someone who's not that big of a wrestling fan and only plays WWE games casually, he wouldn't feel a difference. In my opinion, the last great WWE game was WWE 2K14 a lot of, and a lot of people will be like, Well, here's a good 2K game, how could you not appreciate that? Well, it was actually made around the time when THQ was publishing WWE games, however, 2K got the rights and they released the game under the 2K name. It was supposed to be called WWE 14. And guess what happened when 2K actually made the game? Well, uh, yeah, you couldn't even create a diva or arena in the video game. Just tremendous. 2K don't really care about WWE games. I remember this WWE 2K17 promise. Let's talk about the promise. Remember when they actually removed 2K showcase mode, a mode that is not my favorite because I know what's going to happen. It's basically just like watching WWE Network, but it takes a lot of effort to do the, all these cutscenes and voiceovers, whatever the case may be. You can see that there was a lot of work put into it. Like WWE 2K15 with uh, Christian, Randy Orton, DX, CM Punk and John Cena, or 2K16 with Stone Cold Steve Austin. These were amazing, but just, you know, not my cup of coffee, but I can appreciate the effort. When they removed it in WWE 2K17, they promised that career mode and universe mode are gonna be great this year because we're gonna focus on these. And guess what? Universe mode was pretty much the same as last year and career mode was probably even worse in my opinion. Even though all these career modes really sucked, I think 2K16 had the most entertaining one. If that makes any sense. And this is just my opinion, but I feel like they removed 2K showcase mode just because they were too lazy to put a lot of work in it. I wouldn't say such thing if career mode was actually entertaining. Career mode is so trash. And let's talk about that. Let's talk about the game modes of this game. So in WWE 2K19 you will have towers mode, pretty much an exhibition mode, but you have to beat a lot of players in one match with same health. I believe it's going to be pretty entertaining to rage at, you know, to make videos about that, I get that. But at the same time, all you need to do for this game mode is actually make a menu and play throughout random matches. It doesn't seem like a lot of work was put into it. Then we will probably get universe mode. How many updates we will have? I don't know. Hopefully some GM mode features, but at this point, do you really expect that? So yes, we're getting the towers mode universe mode, then we will get career mode and uh, <laughs> with recent history I don't expect a lot as well. And don't get me wrong, when I will see the trailer, I will see the screenshots, I will probably be very excited because I don't know what I'm get getting into. 
because every time they release screenshots and information, I'm like, this, this is the, this is the shit I wanna play. This, this right here, this is the shit I wanna play next year. I play it for two weeks and I don't even make videos about that anymore because it becomes very, very boring and repetitive. There's this rumor going around that they will bring back 2K showcase mode with Daniel. Brian because Daniel Bryan is doing interviews right now so it's whether GM mode which is very unlikely or a 2k showcase mode surrounding Daniel Bryan's career it's just a rumor but I believe that this is where they're going sounds like a decent idea I think it could be one of the best 2k showcase modes uh, ever I'm not that excited though because once you finish it you don't really care about that anymore but as long as they're actually putting some effort in the game I'm okay with that. The problem is, they don't really listen to the fans what they really want, which is GM mode and an actual season mode, career mode, a good one. Even putting uh, GM mode things in universe mode would work just perfectly. I don't see where's the issue. You can even probably turn it off in options. Why don't you make that? If people are asking for it and you don't really want to do it, why don't you just give us something? Let's talk about milk. Let's talk about milk and 2K games. So right now, gaming in 2018 is very interesting. You buy the game and then you pay twice as more, if not more even. Let's talk about virtual currency. Yes, they are gonna milk that motherfucker like a cow. They're gonna take all your money. So in tower mode screenshots, I actually noticed that they have virtual currency right now so while you're playing the game you want to get some features for your created superstar in career mode well you gotta play real life money this is not confirmed yet but even if it's not real money but these loot boxes that we have in ww2k8 and it's absolutely horrendous i hated playing career mode and that was one of the biggest uh, issues with that because i have in mind what i want to create i know what my wwe superstar is supposed to look but i can't even have hairstyles i can't even have attires because all of them are locked and you have to play throughout the game to unlock things and in my opinion it's a terrible idea you, you have to unlock moves pretty much everything so you're playing with this generic superstar for the whole career mode and at the end of it you might get more attires it was a big waste of time uh, we had way too many limitations and i feel like i feel like they're gonna do real life money this year which is just a, t a terrible decision i don't know this game is probably not gonna be worth paying more money. Let's talk about commentary. Commentary in WWE games always sucked. Always. I don't know how 2K games have decent commentary. I don't know how UFC games have decent commentary. FIFA has decent commentary. Somehow WWE games just never had that. But with that being said, I still appreciate that WWE SmackDown vs Raw 2010 where you had different commentaries uh, from different shows. ECW had different commentary, Raw had different commentary, and SmackDown had different commentary. What it says is that they actually put a lot of effort into these games. And a lot of people will say, if you don't like the game, then just don't buy it and don't play it. Well, the thing is, I love professional wrestling. I love playing games about professional wrestling because I like professional wrestling. I want a good game because I care about these games, but I don't believe in these video games anymore. Like I've said, you probably noticed that from WWE 2K15 to 2K18, there's not a lot of difference. Four years in the making. However, if you compare games like uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2006, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, and WWE 12, all of these games are so different. Every game can be enjoyed even after years of playing it. For example, if I play WWE 2K18, I'm not gonna go back to WWE 2K15 or 16 or 17 because it's a worse version of WWE 2K18. If it's like 2011 right now, right? I'm playing SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. I will go back to play SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, 9 or even 10 because these games are way different from SmackDown vs. Raw 2000. 11. It was a complete different game even though it was a yearly game. So the thing is you shouldn't be that excited about WW2K19 because a complete overhaul of the game is not coming. The last time we had a complete overhaul of a WWE game was WWE 12 when from SmackDown was about 2011 they pretty much changed everything then maybe to 2k15 but 2k15 was a terrible overhaul and now we have all the updates every year you know and as long as we're not getting a playstation 5 i don't think we will get a better wwe game so the conclusion is it will be a good game 
but not different from 2K18. You will play it for two, three months and then you will probably forget about it. So I'm not saying it will be a bad game, but it will be a disappointing one. So don't really get your hopes up. Everything that you will see before you actually get the game will look amazing. You will be like, oh my God, this might just be the greatest WWE game I've ever seen in my entire life. When you will play it, you will feel a complete different thing. Believe me, I think most of you can relate with me right here. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts about WWE 2K19. Are you excited about that? Or you gave up on WWE games as of right now? Will you be excited for Daniel Bryan's showcase mode? Or you need something more serious and something that would keep you playing throughout the year? Thank you for watching this video. If you want to support the channel, Twitter, Instagram, all the links are in the description below. Thanks so much. The great one. Peace, love and hugs. It's been a pleasure.